It's a beautiful day out here, Sterling. Sure is. Look at those waves. How do you think waves are formed? That's a great question. Waves are formed from wind blowing over the ocean surface. The friction of the wind over the water creates ripples. The more the wind blows, the larger these ripples get and eventually become waves big enough for us to ride. Super cool. The longer the distance the wind blows over the ocean will affect how big the waves get. This is called fetch. Hey, wait, but what about surfing? What makes waves good for surfing, Juliana? Surfers like clean waves. What are clean waves? Clean waves are waves that aren't bumpy and choppy. What makes a wave clean? That's a great question, Sterling, and the answer to that question is wind. Wind direction affects how clean the surf will be. Surfers like wind that blows offshore. Okay, but what's offshore? Offshore means that the wind is blowing from the land to the ocean, making the wave super clean. Onshore wind is wind that blows from the ocean to the land, making the wave super bumpy and choppy. I think I'm starting to get it, but what makes a wave break? Waves break when they reach the sandbar. What this means is as a wave is approaching the sandbar, the depth of the water decreases, therefore making it shallow enough for the wave to break. The second part to this is orbitals. Orbitals are circular currents in each wave. As the wave approaches the sandbar, these orbitals drag along the seafloor, steepening the wave until gravity takes over and the wave breaks. Oh, wow. Another cool fact is that a wave will break where the water is approximately half as deep as the wave is tall. So if a wave is four feet, it will break in two foot deep water. I'm learning so much. Did you know that the shape of the sandbar also affects how waves break? It does. The depth of the water and shape of the sandbar determine how a wave will break. Waves that barrel break over a very shallow bottom. That's awesome. Surfers also have to check the water temp before they go out. Why is that? because they have to know whether or not they need to wear a wetsuit. Did you know that our bodies lose heat four times faster in cold water rather than in cold air? Jeez. Ah, I think that's enough science talk for today. Whoa, <laughs> wow, I learned a lot. Yes, you did. And now you can tell all your friends about waves.